the climate right now is grim. For Director of Litigation at Central Virginia Legal Aid Society, Martin Wegbright. In the City of Richmond General District Court. Many of the cases they've had in the last few months have been evictions. There are 803 eviction hearings scheduled. 15 of which are tenants from Grace Place Apartments in Richmond. An apartment complex we previously reported on after residents received a letter from building owners Franklin Capital Group stating they had to be out by May 31st. Shortly following that, residents received another letter stating they now had to be out by June 31st. A notice Wegbright told tenants did not serve as a legal eviction notice. And since then... On Friday, September the 16th, on behalf of 15 of the 17 households, contested, asked the court to order additional court papers. And the court agreed. Grace Place Apartments had agreements with the government to get tax breaks, tax credits, and in return they would keep the premises open for low-income people for 30 years. An agreement Wegbright says would end in December of 2031. That's the bottom line. You can't break a government agreement that you benefited from and harm the people who were supposed to get the benefit of that agreement. Franklin Capital Group is also being sued by the City of Richmond for delinquent taxes. The Richmond Redevelopment and Housing Authority owns the land that Grace Place Apartments are located on. In late July, the City of Richmond filed a tax lawsuit in Richmond Circuit Court claiming there were unpaid taxes of almost $80,000. Wegbright says he hopes to see a fair judgment in both cases as it impacts some of our community's most disadvantaged people. They want to get as much money as they can from the development and provide as few services as possible. Um, you can call that predatory if you want.